Now with these colors that we have in the palette, an orange, a yellow ochre, Rhinos height, which is more or less a very dark brown with a tone of purple and white, I'm creating <clears throat> the color from the skin. And the black skin is uh, like a normal skin, but more dark. So yeah, it's an orange tone in some way. But the difference is that our orange tone is very dark. So mixing with browns or black, uh, we can achieve a more, uh, more or less believable uh, black tone. You can see that if you mix uh, orange with black, you obtain a, a dark brown. And we can vary the tone of the black guy by adding ochre, which, which keeps the tertiary tone and you don't have to desaturate in any way in the in the in future steps or adding reds. The different tones will make different black skins, but all of them will be blacks. I will show you how to paint the skin by showing also how to paint the face. Um, <clears throat> this is the method that I follow to paint fa uh, small faces. First, paint the white of the eyes. Don't be very precise, you don't need it. And after that, because any other part of the, of the face is painted, you can adjust by the outer part of the eyes with the base color to define or to make them more small. When you have the eyes and you have painted the pupils, which I recommend you to use some black ink and black color to make more uh, fluidity because they are more fluid, um, sorry, because the ink is more fluid than the normal colors, the standard colors, and it will make the pupil to, um, the pupil more easy to, to make. When you have that, you can start to place the different lights on the face. Obviously, our base color is, is now the, is not the more uh, darker tone, uh, a closer one. So I take one of the browns and I paint almost all the face. I recommend you to check our video about how to paint faces because uh, all the different planes and, and areas uh, suitable for being painted uh, are expanded there. And now I'm creating a second layer of, of light. And you can see that I'm uh, keeping part of the previous steps unpainted. We have now like three different layers that you can see uh, in, the, in the screen very uh, very clear, very mm, differentiated between them. A dark, very dark one, an intermediate, intermediate one, and a, the last one, the clear one. This is the color that I have chosen and that I am following. And adding a bit more of ochre and a bit of white. I can uh, increase the value of the color, but adding these colors will desaturate too much the mixture. So finally, I have a, a add red to recover the the tone, the orange uh, impact. Well, this is time to ask you to subscribe to the YouTube channel, uh, giving me a thumbs up if you like the content, and to remember you that if you want to support me even more. Uh, you can do it in Patreon for only 3 euros per month, receiving in exchange a collection of fundamentals and different techniques, videos focusing, teaching you uh, in a deeper uh, way uh, how to make different parts of the painting processes, or different painting processes. Also exclusive videos uh, and also discounts in different online shops and products. Um, and you will be updated with my future releases or my future projects with exclusive step-by-step -step pictures uh, and be a, being a part of the process and also being a part of the polls where we are going to decide 
what I'm going to release in the next weeks or months or in the next year. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Well, anyway, if not, uh, you can still support me by joining the YouTube channel and it is enough for me. Uh, thank you for watching the video and uh, well, I leave you with that. Thank you. Bye. You can adjust here the lower eyelid, eyelids. Looks a bit weird, like a football player or something like this. Uh, but by by doing that, by painting first the light and then from the outer part adjusting the shadow, you can be more uh, precise and achieve a, a more thinner line. Now you can see that I'm uh, keeping uh, the black of the lower eyelid and I'm adding the upper light of the cheekbone and it will define the different colors in the eye, in the eyelid. Sorry because uh, sometimes uh, it's blurry but it's very very small and very hard to paint. Remember to recover shadows that will make the face more defined. The lower part of the jaw which is a shadow. And you have to blend you can see that I'm, I'm like doing a patching method. It's a medium high dilution and just by pointing the paint in the transition and creating the, the blending. The colors that I'm using are always the same. And in the different transition, I had to choose it between a color between the, the two colors that I want to, uh, to blend. To paint the lip, I'm adding a bit of red to the mixture of the skin and I have a more or less lip color in, uh, on him. Now it's just a matter of time, of blending. Remember that this figure has a main view. That's the reason because I'm focusing more in the right part of the face because it's the more exposed to your main view. And increasing a bit more the, the light in different points different small areas of the face, we can achieve more contrast. It's easy to make them bad because you have to focus in a very small area of light to make the uh, to make it uh, more brighter, more <coughs> uh, more luminous. I'm blending again the point that I have uh, added in the previous step. And now I put the face in the figure, which is more comfortable for me and also uh, gives me an idea of, of the overall look. Uh, I'm painting the hair. This is the gray I have created. This is a purpley gray. Once again, don't use neutral grays. Try to give them uh, a tone, in my case, an or a purple tone. And by adding several layers of more and more brighter color, I have the moustache and the hair down. For example, in the hair, I'm trying to simulate this kind of hair from uh, Afro-American people, which is like curly, or I don't know how to define it, but I bet it's really that, that you know what I'm trying to say. And well, the face is down. I think the contrast in the skin is quite good. And the, the more important thing is that it still looks black, but not flat, which is a rhyme. <laughs> and this is important when painting black skin.